This protocol details basic tasks that can be used to detect different profiles of timing disorders and also to uncover cases of beat deafness or poor sensory motor synchronization in the general population. First, ask the participants to carry out synchronization tasks using finger tapping to the beat of a simple and complex auditory stimuli. Then, analyze the synchronization data using circular statistics and identify the cases of poor synchronization relative to a normative group or to a control group. Next, submit the participant to rhythm perception tasks in which she or he is asked to detect deviations from the beat in sequences of isochronous tones or in musical excerpts. Analyze the data from the rhythm perception tasks to assess whether the participant detected deviations from the beat and compare the performance to that of a normative group or of a control group to uncover cases of poor rhythm perception. Ultimately, results can identify and characterize individuals with timing disorders in the general population using synchronization and rhythm perception tasks. This method can help answer key questions uh, in the field of cognitive neurosciences of rhythm, such as which mechanisms are responsible for perceiving the beat or moving to the beat, uh, like in dance. Demonstrating this procedure will be my PhD student, Valentin Bejel. Connect the standard MIDI percussion instrument to the computer via a convention.